Hi, uh, my name is Gato Malo, and we're here to talk about the deep dark web in the book. In order to take away the powers from governments and corporations, all we need is math and cryptology. The deep dark web book is about math and cryptology, uh, but it's more also about the human element of it. Pierre, Luigi, and I looked at what the Naval Research, DARPA, New Haven Project, what they created was the Tor Onion Network. But with the social unrest in the world, people have taken to the streets armed with cell phones that could send messages, pictures, and live videos in places like the Arab Spring, these anonymized network saved the day and we saw cyberspace and how the Tor network helped these people become free. I mean, that's, that's big. Uh, of course, the black market, they seen the Tor network, what they can do to secure people, keep their confidentiality, their privacy. And of course, they're going to use it. And, you know, once you put a hidden service in there, hidden service is just a website. Um, in the dark web, they can't find you. You got places like the Silk Road where you can buy drugs and guns. Black Market Re Reload is another marketplace. Uh, there you can, you can buy your favorite drug, but you can also buy explosives. And yeah, and guess what? They verify the merchants, so you know you're getting your explosives from a verified black market reload vendor. Yes, we want to make sure you, you're getting a good deal here. Hey, life is grand when the nuts rule the nut house. But such is cryptology and math. And that's what this book is about. Is it legal to use Tor? Yeah. Of course, uh, Tor just rides on top of the internet. In this country, in the USA, it's legal. Uh, some places, no. You have China, you have uh, places like Ethiopia, for God's sakes. Ethiopia, the last place in the world. You know, you know Ethiopia about hunger and poverty. But Ethiopia blocks Tor servers. I'll get to that in a second. But, you know, you always hear, if you have nothing to hide, what are you worried about? Ah, uh, you know, I'm worried about China is blocking Tor. Syria is blocking Tor. Iran is blocking Tor. Like I said, Ethiopia blocks Tor. Uh, that must be good. You know, it must be a good thing. Uh, the government blocks the, uh, the Tor onion riders all the time. And we got to put a stop to that. And that's uh, people like us getting involved in that, uh, in the cyberspace and really helping out. Um, what we did is we picked the social aspect of the dark web, the hacktivist movements, uh, and of course the some sick perverts that use Tor, you know, child pornography does exist in there, all that kind of crap. Eh. We go into it just a little bit, but you know, governments, corporations use Tor network. Why? Because it's safe and secure, and it keeps you secret, and pretty much that's it. They tell you, hey, only criminals use Tor. Nah, you know, it's math and cryptology, you know. When the government corporations, uh, they take every click you take in cyberspace, dice it, slice it, and sell it for all kinds of money. Everybody tracks you, Google, Twitter, Facebook. Uh, <laughs> come on, I mean, and that's good because you want these social networks to kind of work with you and stuff like that. But when I'm looking for preparation, H for hemorrhoid in my butt. I don't want anybody to know about it. You know, that's private. So I'll go through Tor and search, you know, for where they sell my hemorrhoid cream, you know? Private, sorry. Um, you know, hey, where were you last Tuesday at 9.37 p.m.? Facebook knows, Google knows, LinkedIn knows. So, uh, yeah, they can track you like a dog. So this book just gives us the information about Tor and the Onion Network and what goes inside.
I hope you have fun reading it. See you later. Bye.